Hi everyone, I've got a viewer's question from Megan. Okay, Megan says, I have a question about everyone is you pushed out. You've done several videos on this topic and I'm not sure if I've missed a video or part where you mention this, but could you please explain everyone is you pushed out in reverse? For example, I attracted someone into my life. I just did it laying in bed one night and I let it go. I didn't think much of it, but I met him a month after. We had a magical time, but a month afterwards he ended things by ghosting me. I realized after this that I didn't love myself. I'd never actually realized this. So him ending things with me brought so much light and I'm thankful for it, even though it hurt. And sometimes these negative feelings of rejection come up and worthlessness too. They still come up, but I am feeling so much better now than I did. Each day I'm loving myself more and more and I'm enjoying the process. My question though, sorry for the long email, I thought you'd understand my question better with a little backstory, is how does everyone as you pushed out work in reverse? So with regards to this guy and I, we had to be a vibrational alignment at the time in order to attract each other into each other's lives. Yes. And looking back, I realized that the whole time we were together, I didn't think I was worth it. And I was projecting thoughts that I wasn't deserving of his love. But in the same sense, if everyone is you pushed out, then wasn't I pushed out as something that he may have been projecting too? Yes. Now, I'm going to use the example of the ghosting, as you say, as in someone takes off and doesn't want to be around you. Now, in my experience of working with people and in my own life, when that happens, it's they have got a matching thing going on. So if you've got what you said here, I'm going to use your words. I didn't think I was worth it. And I was projecting thoughts that I wasn't deserving of his love. Okay. So now I don't know him. So I'm going to give you an example of what I know when people do ghost you, what goes on in that person's mind. Now, it could be a variety of things, but the common ones are, I feel suffocated. This person's an emotional burden to me. Um, I don't feel free. I feel trapped. So they've got that going on and then you act out the neediness, the feeling unworthy, the longing, and that pushes their buttons, you see. so. Some people have been left, abandoned, and they have neediness in them. There's also people that have been suffocated, as in, you know, their parents were always around, hovering around, telling them what to do. They couldn't breathe. They couldn't do, they couldn't move around without that parent on top of them. Often, one of their parents, usually the mother I see, not saying that the fathers aren't needy, but the women are the ones that are usually the caregivers, especially in those early years. If that woman continues to be needy, then that child, boy or girl, will feel suffocated. Okay? Now, as we know, our childhood blueprint then goes forth and then we attract similar things. So someone that's been suffocated feels trapped feels like they can't breathe with people around, feels like they don't have enough of their own space, feels like they can't do what they want and need to do for themselves will often disappear because they're trying to get unsuffocated. They're trying to become free. They're trying to become untrapped, really untrapped or free. So yes, I do think that it's, it's not, I know you're saying everyone's you pushed out in reverse and I know what you mean, Megan. But yeah, it is very much that we have corresponding parts like magnets. Okay, so to the degree that you're needy, you're a needy magnet is to the degree that the other magnet is repelled. Okay, so in this case, 
you know, we can't ask him, so we don't know exactly. But from working with lots of people, and I do work with people that ghost people, as you say, and the reason they do it is because they feel trapped, suffocated, can't breathe, feel like they can't do what they want and need for themselves. So, I hope that helps. And yes, it does make sense. That was a perfectly good question. And thank you for asking it. You sent me this back in ooh, 19th of November 2018. It's so quite a while ago. So, thank you, Megan. And I will also put down below the Everyone As You Pushed Out playlist. And I will put the... Uh, what else was it? Nothing. Nothing. That's it. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>